Hey guys, in this part of the FPS games with Blender and Unreal Engine series, I will show you how to create an animation with Blender and export it to the Unreal Engine. We start again with the rigged hands model in Blender 2.90 and first of all I go to the pose mode in which we can move the bones by pressing the G key and when I press R I can rotate the bone. But now let's suppose I want to translate both hands, then we have here in the toolbar the X symmetry and then we can just rotate or move both hands at the same time. I do this now to find a good pose with that we can start. Because we are going to create a very simple animation, an idle animation for the FPS character. So I think this pose for the start is alright, the hands relaxed at the sides. Then I move it a bit more to the center and yeah, good enough. Then I open another window and I press the zero key on the numpad to switch to the camera view. Just to have a real first person perspective so that I can adjust the position and rotation of the hand again. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a first animation. As I said, a very simple one, just to demonstrate how to do it, how to create a so-called action that we can export to the Unreal Engine. And again, I open a new window, this time here at the bottom, and for this I select the dope sheet. But we want to create an action, so I switch to the action editor. Nice, then I press new to create the action, and I name it idle. This is when the character has nothing to do, it's just standing there. And the first thing I want to do is to store the current pose at the first frame. So I enable here the automatic keyframe insertion. And then I press G followed by enter. So that the location of both wrist bones is stored as keyframes. And for the left and the right side because we have X symmetry enabled. Okay, at the moment we have 30 frames, so I open the timeline and set the end frame to 60, because I want the idle animation to be a bit longer. Here we can set it 60 as the end frame. Nice, now I press Ctrl and C to copy these keyframes, and then I go to the last frame and press Ctrl and V to insert. Because we want to create a cyclic animation and in the frame in the middle, at frame 30, I change the rotation of the wrist bone very slightly, just a tiny bit. I don't say that this is the best idle animation for FPS hands, but for demonstration I think it's good enough. Okay, now we have it, the first animation, and now let's open an editor that might be a bit confusing, but it helps a lot when we are going to export the animations as separate animations later on. It is the NLA editor, which stands for Non-Linear Animations. You find it here, and I don't want to go too much into detail for this editor. We use it to turn actions into non-linear tracks by pressing this button here, and these tracks can be exported as separate animations and this is very important because otherwise if you try to export all the actions you will run into many updating problems in the Unreal Engine and you don't want that. So just keep in mind every time we have a new action created we use the NLA editor to turn it into a track that we can export and how to do that I will show you in a minute. Before we do that let me create a new Unreal Engine project with the template First Person. I keep all the settings as they are and call the project FPS Test. After it is opened, you see the first person character with a camera attached. And this is the character blueprint that we are going to add our animated mesh, the hands. So let's open it and go to the View tab and then we can remove a couple of things. I mean, we don't need the guns, the arms and hands, we are removing all these meshes because we are going to add our own. I 
Okay, now everything is removed, but when we compile, these components are required by the blueprints. But we don't need these parts either, so we can remove them as well. So in the end we just have the movement and rotation logic left for the player and that's okay for getting started. So start the game and an invisible player is moving around. Okay, then let's give him some hands. We switch again to Blender and go to Object Mode and select the Hands object and the Armature. Press Shift to select both and be sure that the NLA track, the Idle track, is not muted. It is this checkbox here. Okay, then I go to File, Export, FBX and I have a preset defined here, but we go through all the settings. First of all, we are going to export the selected objects only, then check the armature and the mesh. And then we have to know that for the Unreal Engine, we have to set the forward axis to X forward and the up axis to set up. And the other important thing is that we are not going to export all the actions, so I uncheck this, we are exporting the NLA strips. That's it, now I select the folder of my Unreal Engine project to which I want to export the mesh and the animations and press export FBX. In the Unreal Engine we get a notification that we can import, then the FBX import dialog pops up and don't forget to check import animations. Then I press import all and here we have it, the mesh, the animation, the physics asset and the skeleton. Okay, let's have a look. These are the hands. All right, and then I open again the FPS character blueprint, select the character mesh, and for this I choose the hands. But have a look at this, they're pointing into the wrong direction. I was also struggling with that, but then I found out that in the FPX export, there's an option. It is called use space transform. And when you uncheck this, only the access space is written to the file. So let's give it a try. Okay, back to the Unreal Engine. There's a change. We import again and bam, we are looking into the right direction. Great. Okay, we have the hands, but they're not animated yet. There's no idle animation. So let's go ahead, right click to create a new asset. And this is an animation blueprint. For the target skeleton, we use our hands. And then we name it ABP for Animation Blueprint FPS Character. We add a simple state machine. Well, basically, this is going to be the most simple one. <laughs> it will just have one state. And this will be the idle state, okay? So we drag out here the new state, call it idle, and assign the animation that we exported. But the hands are still not moving in our FPS character blueprint. So what we have to do is to select them and then choose ABP FPS character for the animation class. And have a look at this, right in the editor we can see the idle animation. Oh, the hands are a bit sunken into the ground. I will fix this in a minute. First I want to add a new material because the grey hands are a bit too boring even for a low poly mesh. So create a new material, call it hands and open the material editor. And to the base color I assign a white color. This is a constant 3 vector node. Okay, then I go again to the view tab of the FPS character blueprint and assign the new material to the mesh. That looks better. 
but we also have to bring the hands a bit upwards so that they're not sunken into the floor. Then now start the game again. We can move around and see the hands. Of course they are way too big, we have to adjust the size. But it's a good starting point for the FPS character. In the next part, we are going to create more animations. And the first one is when the character is holding something in his hand, in his right hand. And then we come to blending animations from idle to pick up an item, holstering, attacking and many more. Just stay tuned. You can get the full package from our Gumroad page. The link is in the description, but if you join here as a member or become my at least golden card patron, I can grant you access to all my Gumroad products. So keep that in mind, there are many advantages for joining as a member or becoming my patron. You also get access to my private repositories on GitLab exclusive content and email support. So guys, I hope you liked the video. If you do, then don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I see you guys here on JNM.